my gosh, I am back home and it was an absolutely wonderful night. And who knew it would turn out to be a date? Yeah, that's right. I took myself out for a date because I'm worth it. And I knew it was coming because because I had invited myself earlier. I was like, self, you know we need to go out and enjoy the whole all of us, don't you? Because we haven't been out just celebrating and enjoying us in a while. And I was like, no, we sure haven't. But I knew it was coming so when I was feeling this Jamaican flavor and vibe, and I've been feeling it for a while now, because I had been looking at the Dutch pot on a little card in the kitchen, and I was saying, oh, I miss the Dutch pot. I miss Jamaican food. I love it. I miss the islands. And then I've been watching Lydia Dinga, Guys, if you don't know, look, loves. If you don't know Lydia Dinga, find out who she is on YouTube because her vlogs are cinematic. And I had just watched one where she and her girls went to Jamaica. I saw the places that I had visited when I went over with friends. And one of the friends, the main friend, who invited me there twice. I opened her sympathy card uh, today on the vlog at the restaurant and I opened her birthday uh, box uh, Saturday on the vlog. So mwah, shout out to you, thank you so much. I, abracitos y besitos a ella. She knows who she is, so thank you girl. I so appreciate you. Oh my gosh, I also opened a card from a beloved, beloved, beloved friend who gave me a lovely sympathy card and a beautiful, beautiful birthday card. It's good to have friends, guys. And it's good to take yourself out on a date every now and then. So. Until you get your beloved and your, or your beloves, if you're polyamorous like me, I, I've dispelled the notion of a triad as being an ideal relationship structure. However, my polyamorous uh, love affair is going to take shape, I'm going to be open to it. Mm -hmm. And I think it's so good. I think it's marvelous that you take yourself out from time to time. Show yourself a great time. Treat yourself with loving kindness so that when you are in your relationships, you will better appreciate them because you appreciate yourself. And hopefully the exchange will teach you so much about being in a relationship. I've been in relationships before, I've been married before, but I, I've been out of a relationship now for a long time. And I miss being in a union, in a romantic relationship with someone, with, or in this case, someone's. So uh, instead of spending so much time missing it, I'm going to be open to the universe giving me more dates like that, but with someone else or others across the table, enjoying conversations, smiles, laughter. I am ecstatic just thinking about it all. And guys, when I went to Jamaica, both times I went, it was beautiful. It was like art in motion. It was the music on the air. And the music in the restaurant took me back 
to Jamaica a couple of years back, and I was like, wouldn't it be nice, Claudia, super nice, if you did a girl's trip to Jamaica with a friend or friends? That would be so cool. So I'm putting it out in the universe. Universe, send me loved ones to go to Jamaica with and enjoy all over again the authentic cuisine because that Dutch pot took me back. It just dropped me back into just platters and plates and pots of Jamaican food. Jamaican food, man, is so good. The jerk, this, that, and the other, the plantains, oh my God. The oxtails, the, the vegetables, the same as here, but just prepared differently. The um, ackee fish, <sighs> estuvets, I think it's estuvets fish. Somebody will correct me down below. But treat yourself right and go do those things that you love to do, even in this pandemic when you are not moving like other people. Other people are flying all over the world doing, doing their thing, like Lydia and Mary Jane Byarms here on YouTube. But if you're not like me for right now, it's know that it's only for right now. So go explore in your own backyard for right now. So that when it's time for you to explore the world and see the world, you'll be ready because you started with baby steps, but you still started. I, for some reason, I thought it was far later than it was when I was in the restaurant, but it's not that late at all. And I'm not sleepy. I'm ready to get started working. I am ready to go sit down, edit some videos, because I've been off my channel for a long time, Claudia Moss. I've been off Instagram for a while, a yellow plate. Well, I did do a video on a yellow plate for my IGTV for a yellow plate. And Miss Claudia Moss and the Claudia Moss, I am going back. Plus I'm finishing up an online course because I am going to teach English as a second language while I work on my channel and continue writing my manuscript. I'm going to finish that manuscript in 2021. Do you hear me, universe? I'm going to do it. It is done. I do not want to give 12 years to finishing this novel. I'm going to take my friend's advice. Fiona Zed said, damn it, Claudia, finish that novel. And that novel is finished and on Amazon. So I will, I know I promised you this last year and the year before on this channel that I would share some of my writing with you, but I am going to, I am going to this year. What? Well, this hair, guys, is cosplay hair that you can find on eBay and Amazon. I love this colorful, cheapy hair. It, it, uh, it is just so much fun when you're trying to change your look. This will do it. Today, when I put that black hood on it with from that silky hoodie, so many eyes like, I don't know if they were like, what it, what planet did she drop off? What spaceship did she get out of? But let me tell you, you looked. I caught you looking. <laughs> but anyway, what I, I, I love it. The, the only two things about it is that with this hair, you gotta make sure you have something to um, de-emphasize the fact that the top of it is definitely cosplay. That C-O-S-P-L-A-Y, 
whatever that means, I guess, just pretending and playing and dressing up. Because while I was eating at the Dutch pot, I saw a little girl walk by the window with her mom. And when she saw me with all this hair, she came back and looked. She was just looking like this. I was like, oh, I'm so cute. But anyway, with this hair, you don't have the lace front, so you can't really cut it and cut the big hairs. But I guess you could if you're that willing to change it. I'm not that willing to go that far to do anything with this hair in the front. It's not even hair with this fiber in the front. Uh, but I just, I just love playing with it. I love wearing scarves and hats with it. And but, but that's one thing to de-emphasize the front. But and it will slip sometimes. Like right about now, it's probably slipping. <laughs> but you, and you know, my forehead is big. I have that lovely big African regal royal forehead, and I will find it going back further back and back and back <laughs> but you gotta check it from time to time or it'll be hanging off your neck but this hair also or this fiber or, or this wig will this wig will move so much because it's a certain fiber it's not hair and it you'll have to comb it and brush it and the next thing you know half of it is in your garbage can the other half is in the brush and on the floor so you just gotta be careful not to move it a lot but it's so silky it just moves and before you know it you're like oh my gosh do I have any on my head but I love it so look for more wigs like this and more colors more styles along with natural hair videos, and also uh, human hair weeks. I, I just love makeup, hair, vlogs, travel, words, writing, conversations, stories, fitness, relationships, the whole nine, I'm here for it. And did I say I was pan? You're like, pan what, Claudia? Pansexual. I, I'm realizing myself to be that. So to me, that means if anyone sparks with me, I can, as long as they're human, I'm open to knowing them and walking out on dates even and moving towards loving them. Why not? They're human whatever gender or orientation they are. Um, so yeah, you learn something about yourself because you're always, you're always evolving, always. Which lets me say this before I close the vlog, I've decided, I've done it. I have decided to not post on my vlog channel Claudia's Universe Vlogs. The traction there is just very, very low. So I'm going to not split my efforts because I have so much in the creative fire. I'm a writer. I'm going, I'm in the process of completing my manuscript so that I can get it out to people who are going to hopefully read it and, and help me edit it give me their thought and feedback, and then that is going out this year, okay? And I don't mean at the end of the year, it's gonna be done. I am an author, I'm, I'm a poet, um, I am a vlogger, I love traveling, I want to get out and travel more in 2021, so I, I have a trip coming up soon to Orlando, I am ecstatic about that, and I don't have to be leaving the state or the country. I'm going to explore my own backyard like I recommended to you. So I'm going to be sharing some vlogs with you here around my playground here. Um, I am a wordsmith who likes, who loves to critically discuss and have fun analyzing other writers. Not just about me, I love reading 
And my love for reading segued into my love for writing. All of that, I love makeup, I love hair, I love fashion. All of that makes up who Claudia Moss is. So I'm going to see how streamlining my efforts works. I'm going to see how that works. And I think it'll work. I think it'll give me a chance to post twice a week on this channel and just grow this channel. Wednesday feels like what people are doing on YouTube. I've noticed a lot of people I watch, they post on Wednesday and Sunday. Wednesday and Sunday, between Wednesday and Sunday, gives me ample time to make sure I have a video ready for you as well as um, writing and dealing with my teaching uh, as English as a second language. It's a lot on my plate and I am opening to relationships and walking towards relationships instead of just flying solo for so long. I've, I've been solo for quite a long time and I'm ready. I'm ready to um, find love, not find love, I'm ready. I'm opening to love. I'm opening to love in a relationship where we are giving and taking and learning about one another and learning about ourselves and enjoying this life together. So I'm so excited. Okay guys, I've gotta go. This is going to be a long vlog, but it's worth it. Because who knows? I went on a date, who knew, who knew? I had a date tonight. See you in the next video, vlog, tutorial, because I've got some makeup videos coming soon with some new makeup. I am excited about that and some fashion. Ooh, and revamped fashion. So take care. Love you guys. Mwah! Besitos y abracitos a todo el mundo. And I forgot. I've got language videos, I'm reading in Spanish. Oh my God, I love it. I love it, I love it, I love it. There's something about the Spanish language that resonates with me. It is so beautiful to me, it is so beautiful. Okay loves, see you the next time. Mwah, mwah, mwah. Bye.